Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are in La Nova del Morte, and of course, playing with the Imperial Troopers or Imperial Officers, or whatever, anyway. And would you believe out there we have some naysayers, some people that say this isn't a self-filtering hydrogen oxygen system, which I, I kind of understand because we've got this gas filter here, a powered gas filter, and that doesn't scream self-filtering. But this this little gap here, the only thing that can go through there is hydrogen because all the oxygen disappears out through the bottom because you know that's where I release all my oxygen from anyway so I think to kind of like hammer home what's going here I'm gonna deconstruct that I'm gonna then deconstruct gas pipes if I can go from there down and across and of course let's get rid of that gas vent now I do also need to kind of just hold on here and get rid of that bit of wall and I want to I want to watch this happen because I want to be able to get in do the little tweak that needs to happen here and put it back to normal as quick as possible as quick as possible because the whole time that this you see this gap here is a thing we are kind of uh, hang about, I don't want to do that do that uh, we're kind of letting a little bit of oxygen through you can tell that the oxygen comes out from this place here and a little bit can kind of drift over sideways and get down the hole uh, we don't want that. oh you guys picking stuff up there that's that's very nice not quite what I'm after but it is actually very nice you're gonna come along and fix this for me 25 kilograms of granite um, People are picking stuff up. That's cool. Uh, anyway, I want to get to the base tile nine. Now let's put it on an eight and put that there. This this should get done relatively quickly, right? Another thing that I want to do over here, this refrigerator. Let's put some food in it, shall we? Now what are we actually making? We're making cool. That did get done in the right order. Uh, lice loaf. Where are you? Lice loaf and it wasn't stuffed berry. It was gristle berry, I believe. We're making down here. Let me just double check that that is indeed what we're making. Okay, cool. So that's that done and that's that done. Other things that I am taking note of. This pitcher pump over here, very close to running out we've got to watch out for that in fact if I look at this here, look at this here you can see we've only got five kilograms of water and seven kilograms of polluted water which makes me wonder what all this uh, 300 oh there's actually very little down here I thought I thought there was a little bit more down there than there was this one also running out of water and then over here we've got a similar scenario so I'm gonna start thinking about what we can do with that this power system absolutely pushed to its maximum right now so we're gonna to have to start thinking about another power system as well but whilst we're doing all that I want to kind of clear all this area oh and something else I forgot to mention it's just a small issue nothing really to worry about but we're nearly out of algae um, and so I, I could really quite do with getting some algae thankfully look look at all this here that that's all there ready to be used so if I come along here with a six yeah we're gonna use a little bit of granite and come from about here across this is gonna end up being a new new barracks area I think that'll be the one that I go for here uh, I'm also gonna get rid of all this down here and this over here that one's a little bit misplaced cancel that um, yeah let's let this run this through I also want to be able to dig like all of this all of this needs to go if at all possible uh, p9 I'd like to find everywhere where there's sand because sand sand is dangerous in this scenario and I'd rather dig it up as possible the dangerous is a bit of a big word we're not it's not danger it's just um it can fall on stuff and then that stuff doesn't doesn't get to be worked anymore and that's a little little unfortunate uh, let's go up here with the nines and at the same time I kind of want to come up over this way uh, uh, you see you see this little thimble reed up here I would really like to get some thimble reed because we're starting to have a few uh, comfort issues shall we say things are like people are getting too hot or people are getting too cold uh, the, the situation is just a little bit bad for people out there what was that that just clicked in on the old research there if I come down to the automation it is all the gates awesome so at some point we get to go uh, full on I'm gonna do just about everything via the power of automation at some point some point soon I am no doubt right now there are a few things I want to get hold of are these like p9s under here they are okay that's cool I also want a g9 of course why not just to try and get all this done I want that thimble reed I want to be able to make a thimble reed farm up here this is this is one of the things I am working towards as well as extra rooms and stuff like that. So I'm going to let these guys just kind of chill over for a bit. Um, with the idea of building out this way, 
Let me press that F9. You can see it's all pretty scary over this way. It's all pretty, pretty scary. Uh, so I'd like to come into the research and start working towards... I literally just saw it. There we go. Decontamination. I want to have a deodorizer and an ore scrubber. The ore scrubber in particular is the one that I'm after. I want to put an ore scrubber like in here. Uh, we also got to figure out how we're going to pump out some chlorine. And of course... How could I even begin to forget we've got ourselves a weasel over there? Do you go... Yeah, that did do. Do you go see that? That right there. That little weasel. I'd like to get that because we need... Oh, we need some cooling systems. Like, this cooling system is a great just for cooling down my farm here. It's working out really well. This should hopefully fill up at some point and everything will work out. A-O-okay for us. I have nice, nice cool water here. Hot water there. Though, I've been, been thinking... Uh, we can see here. Oh, in fact, this not not doing the thing that I thought it would. Uh, as this water continues to heat up, what are we? We're at 44 at the moment. That's obviously not hot enough. Um, but very soon, this is going to become too hot for the germs to sustain. In fact, if we go and have a look at the germs now, that's no, no. I want the water if at all possible. Polluted water. You can see there, change rate. We are dropping. I think it's because of the temperature. Indeed, anything over. 40 degrees, maybe, I think we're going to go with, will start causing germs to die. So I'm going to actually just kind of crank this one up a little bit and hold it at about 40 degrees for enough time to kill all the all the germs in there. Because I, I don't want germs just cycle, circling around and getting getting re, reintroduced into the base through a cooling system. I mean, that would just be terrible. Um, but with that heat capacity of six, I definitely do want to use polluted water. Well, looky, looky here. I think we've got ourselves a nice, easy-to-reach patch of algae here. I think I'm just going to go across that way, go for the base. Uh, one, two, up like that. Uh, and then we could go technically one, two, one, two, and put the ladder up here. But, uh, yeah, you know what? Whatever. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That gives us room to be digging later on. Uh, height of the iron? We're going to want that iron at some point, but not, not right now. We'll, we'll do it like that and dig those out there. At some point, we're going to have to figure out how we get in here and start grabbing this water from the geyser. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Like This is now our permanent water solution. This is going to be what we have to deal with. Apart from the temperature, it's up at the 60s. I don't know about you, but 60 degree water, that's, that's very hot very hot. I, if I was having a bath in it, I'd complain about it being too hot, and if I was trying to drink it, I'd be like, why have you not put a tea bag in this? Just to show you what's going on here, you can see the hydrogen and oxygen are being produced. All the oxygen getting caught in this little too wide gap here, dropping down, being forced out underneath, along with some carbon dioxide, it turns out. And a little bit of hydrogen that got out through the door, that's a little bit unfortunate. But as the pressure builds up the top here, eventually this little trigger will be turned on. Now there's going to be a few little bits of hydrogen of oxygen going up there. I'm, I'm going to take the small wrong element damage there and you can see now we are getting pumped out with nothing but pure hydrogen. That's because there's nothing else down here. That's all that's going to get there. And I would like to make another one over here somewhere. I'm going to leave a little bit of space open. I think down the bottom is probably a good idea. We're just about to run out of space down here. So I think... Yes, I think this will be a good idea. What I'm going to do, actually, is move the gas pump up a little bit. I think we can have all these on the same level and just have this dividing wall being the thing that makes the difference there. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And then we can have this atmospheric sensor up top. When that touches out at 2,000, the bottom one can pump. I, th I think that's what we're going to do. But, of course, we've got to figure out how we're going to put it in here uh, better than we have already. Now, is this important to be able to reach right now? No. Everything over here is actually being dealt with in other manners. Apart from you guys are going and picking up your granite. That's a bit weird. Right, I'm going to switch on to buildings and we're going to destroy all of this. All of this has to go. I'm also going to dig out a few levels here. Uh, and we're going to figure out what, what we can put there. Now, obviously, trying to use more power is going to probably be a bad idea. Let's have a look in here. Let's see what's going on with this heavy what wire. What have we got? We're not actually pulling as many... Oh no, look. Oh, Max, what? In fact, ignore me. Uh, all this time I've been thinking that like 1.3 is the maximum that my wire can go to. No, 20 is the maximum my wire can go to. 1.3 is the maximum draw. So at the moment, we, we can make lots more room, lots more transformers. Uh, I really want this to get all drunk, uh, sucked down to this area though. So if we come into plumbing, liquid pipes, uh, despite the fact that this being very close to exploding, let's, ha let's have a look here. What, what have you got? Um, 
Actually, that's not that close. It, the the yellow the yellow is not right. Why why is that yellow already? Uh, but despite it being as close as I thought it was, whatever. Uh, we'll go in and add an extra little bit here because I was gonna watch it really closely and be like, okay, well now we can just disconnect. That, that's where I wanted that. Now we can just disconnect these bits and everything will work out. Okay, it turns out I could have just let it fly. Did I not? No. Well, it turns out no, I did not. Uh, plumbing liquid pipe. I thought I had uh, only selected wires there, but something had gone wrong. All right, P9. Let's get those built and then we'll rip this down. Uh, talked about that. These guys really taking their time on actually doing this digging here. I can only assume it's because of the priorities, but people are also at the same time are working their way up here and digging this all for the thimble reed. Okay, finally people are working down here. I was having a small little bit of algae issue again, but I pumped up the priorities to get that turning over. What do you mean there's no power? No power? All right, well, anyway, that's not what we're working on. What I'm going to do now, we're going to start with a gas pump. We're going to pop the gas pump about there. That kind of sits well for me. I would then want to have a few tiles going up to somewhere like that. Um, maybe even tiles underneath that. That sounds cool. And then we'll have some airflow on this side with the oxygen electrolyzers. I want to have two of those. One there and one there. Slightly overcooked these airflow tiles. Uh, let's turn them down like that. Cool. Uh, tile, tile, roof. No, nope, roof wants to go up one more. Roof wants to go up one more. We're going to have a little bit of sizing issue here. Now I've stopped to think about what's going on because we still need to have all this stuff at the top. Ah, I don't know why I hadn't planned that stuff out before. Okay, let's uh, let's cancel this and start again. I do actually want to take out those mesh tiles, but but whatever. We'll, we'll work on it. So power, 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 power. That's what I want. I want to have... We need to have a few things up here. We need to have a hydrogen generator. Oh, look, there's room for it. Awesome. Uh, we need to have a battery. There's also room for that. And finally, something just to kickstart the whole system. We'll have a manual generator. Manual generator is the word I was looking for there. We then want to put a tile across the whole lot of those. Okay, like that should give us a nice amount of room for working with. Then and we will have that little slot like that. I believe that's how we want it. Let's go back to ventilation where we can come through to the gas pump. Uh, there? Yeah, exactly there. Just like that. Uh, with two electrolyzers, bam, bam. That should work out very, very, very well. Air flows. Door. Do I? No, I don't want a pneumatic door. I want to do it like this. I probably want to actually make this a solid tile as well. So the only thing that comes out is oxygen via the bottom. Uh, that should work out okay. And of course, we'll have this tile coming across here. We'll probably put these tiles up last. Out, out of everything, those guys will go up last. A little bit of gas outflow. That's where that one works. That should be a-okay there. So anything else I need to do here? I need to dig out the bottom of here, and I also now need to think about where we're getting nice water coming out. So let's go over to the plumbing pipe. Let's, uh... Mm, I kind of wanted to take it across the same sort of line as this. Can we go under like that? Is that... That should be a possibility. Because this is all starting to empty out now. And in fact, with all that being built, what I'm going to do is take out the pump down here and the power wires that come over this way. If I check this out, yeah, those power wires, that pump. Should also have some extra liquid pipes. No, they all want to stay there. They all want to stay there. Okay, that, that should be cool. I'm noticing we've got this liquid pipe, actually. Yeah, let's cancel this. Let's cancel this. This may or may not work out as I want it, but we'll come down for plumbing. Where are you? The thing that I always put down the wrong way. Liquid bridge. Now, let's stop and think. The white is coming in. Okay, so we'll have the white up like that. Sweet, sweet. So down and... No! No! What did I do here? Liquid pipes. That one there. Get rid of it. What? Mm. Oh! Oh, is that an update? Uh, so normally these liquid bridges count as buildings rather than pipes. But it seems like at some point someone's gone, no, these are pipes. Which is kind of cool. Which is kind of cool. Um, I've like been complaining about how it's not been working like that for a long time now. So I suppose this will be all good. Okay, power. Where does power go for all of these things? I can't remember. Let's go up and have a look over here. We're looking at the wrong screen. That's uh, the wrong overlay. That, that'll be why this doesn't work very well. So yeah, indeed. Three across the top and then round the outside to those things there. The electrolyzers and the pump. Power wire. 
Oh, uh, this this should be easy. This should be easy. These are definitely going to need to be taken down that central block. But come up and across. That should make everything okay. These are all saying they're not buildable, but that's because they are in the middle of nowhere. All right, let's do this stuff, this stuff, this stuff, and this stuff, and then that that wall could get built as and when. Okay, so we're gonna just wait for that to get done. Oh man, how much more water does this have access to? It is all draining down nicely though, so I suppose that's kind of all right. Kind of all right. So the liquid bridge has gone in. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let this build. I'll be back. Oh, at night time. <laughs> Morning guys! So I'm kind of working on doing a little bit of a relaxation area over here. I feel like my, my dupes could do with it. But as you can see, stress is starting to get up to 68s for a few people. Invalid construction location. It's alright. That's that's going to deal with itself. A lot of the stuff here, I kind of just have to ignore. Like this flooding. It's in the middle of nowhere. This is not a thing that I built. I don't know why you keep telling me that. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to ignore a lot of the things up there. Which is a little unfortunate because that means that I miss things like, hey, idle? Why are people idle? But well, anyway, whatever. In, in fact, Cassia, why are you idle? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, okay, I see what's gone down here. Yep, things are definitely bad. He, what's happened is he's been building this ladder up here and found his way into a sand pocket. The sand fell down and completely stopped him being able to get out. But thankfully, Cassio, he's a, uh, he's a resourceful man, and so he is off. Bam, just like that. Is that, is that good now? You done? Don't stop in an empty airlock, man. What is wrong with you? Speaking of empty airlocks, let's go into refinement. No, is it not refinement? Utilities, indeed. I want to put an ore scrubber down. I've never used one of these before, so I'm just going to pop it down like that, and we'll try and figure out what's going on. I've also noticed that this is going to lead us into troubles. Uh, I was just talking about how sand is awkward, and there we go. There's more sand. P9, let's let's try and get this done as quick as possible. Don't really care too much about the rest of the uh, facility here. I just want to get rid of all that sand. Get rid of all that sand. Uh, oh, though we are about to get the thimble reed. That that would be great if someone could just finish that. All right, bye. So whilst waiting for them to build up a whole load of stuff, I've uh, come along and started building up this little area here. Do I actually want to get an extra cot in there? I was originally just making it for three, but I think if we squeeze really hard, oh no, no, this isn't this isn't the floor where we squeeze really hard. This is gonna just be a nice area where people come to chill out. Let's even put a flower pot in. Yeah, we can put a flower pot down there. That looks good. Uh, base pneumatic door. Let's get these tiles in place, and hopefully people should be able to come along and build on top of that. That's cool. Uh, this little bit of sand here. I don't like it. I hate it. Get rid of it. We go on with you. Uh, and and this one over here as well. You, you're exactly the same. If you could just like get rid of all that lot, that would be a okay. So what are people doing right now? Because oh look, this is filling up, but we've got a bit of a problem with stuff being up there. Do, do I want to deal with that? Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got 35 kilos of polluted oxygen. Wow. Okay, and 12 kilos of hydrogen. I, I have a I have a plan. Let's do this. Let's do this. Airflow nine. Uh, I'll take the no. We'll take the copper. We'll take the copper. Let's just do that like that and see what happens here. Hopefully someone will come across. Ooh, no illumination. I must have put things down. I must have put too many jobs down on high priority, and they have not been keeping on top of what needs to be done. I suppose that's kind of okay. My own fault, really. My own fault. Uh, let's let all these gases out of here, please. Any moment now. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Oh, that. That wasn't what I wanted. What? Are, what are you doing here? Uh, is there a way of? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna leave that like that for a bit. I'm gonna leave that like that for a bit. That that should be fine. Uh, hopefully this hydrogen here will end up getting pushed out because this is where the liquid vent is, maybe? I don't know. Uh, okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. How are we doing down here? Things are looking like they're in place. Why is that tile not in place? What's, what's going on there? Let's fix that. that that'll make everything a-okay. Uh, Targ definitely looking like he could do with a little bit of niceness down here. So let's put one of those there. Uh, just just a whole load of these across here. That That's probably a good idea. Okay, so now that's in place, that's in place. Everything appears to be a working a fine here. That liquid lock not going to be the best for the situation I'm trying to set up here, you know? Uh, so... Yeah, let's try and think about that. Because I want to try and set up a new carbon trap. So if I try and put a hole through here, that'll let almost all the carbon dioxide float down and through. And then I'm going to set up another bit like this. Maybe once again put some more tiles down here. And then underneath we can have the algae terraria 
like that. Could even, even put a light. Let's see how much it spreads. Some, something like, oh, we probably want two actually. Oh, we one there and one there. If we had a little bit more room, we could probably have just done the one. Do we want to try and make a little bit more room? I think we're going to make a little bit more room. Uh, let's go with furniture and ceiling light. Which one? Three there. Three. Uh, so it's one of these two. That's not very useful. We're going to go with that one for the most. Uh, for the closest one in, I suppose. I, I don't know whether that works or not. And then we'll go for this way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Something like that. That that should, in theory, make a nice algae, like carbon eating area. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, I just noticed how close we're getting to the slime lung down here. Uh, I am, however, going to put in a tile and just just kind of hope that that works out all right for us. That, that that's how things work, right? If you just if you just hope hard enough, then then everything will work out okay for you. Yeah, maybe I don't know. So one thing I meant to change a little while ago was to change all these into hydroponic tiles. Yeah, that was actually supposed to be done quite some time ago. Let's go to buildings nine and get rid of all of these. You know they're not going to put them in in the right order, but still, we will just live with it like that. If we go hydroponic and nine, let's uh, get these into place as other people are taking the other ones apart. Oh, these guys are going to get stuck. That's interesting. Uh, but thankfully, these guys should be able to come along and get all these ones fixed. Piet, that's not really the best place to try and have a sleep. I've got to be honest with you, not really working out. Uh, but, well, another night. Well, whilst we're talking about another night, let's uh, have a look at what's going on down here. I have taken away this wall for the moment because I'm waiting for all this top bit to fill up with hydrogen before I deal with that. I want to have a good hydrogen layer at least down to the top of this door. Um, I've also had to disable this a pump because it kept on just sending oxygen up top. Just got to wait, wait for it all to sort itself out. You can see we already have quite a bit of oxygen and I think the problem with that is all the carbon dioxide is trying to find its way uh, down here. So I've kind of cut out some more room and hopefully that should make things work a lot better. In fact, if I just take this ladder and move it all the way down there, maybe put a bit more tileage across there, do, do something like this, this should work out pretty well for us, I think. I'm, I'm hoping so. Anyway. Alright, what were we working on just before? You can see up here, I have been working on people's sleeping arrangements. That's because I want to try and get someone else in on board. And I'm not sure who we're going to go for here. There are quite a wide range of officers to be going for. And I think having an actual officer is definitely what we're after here. Um, as always, if you guys have a good idea, please do let me uh, know. You're sleeping during the day, Piet. What's going on? Why, why are you sleeping? Oh, no, you're off again. You're not looking the best, it has to be said. You're at 98. Let's, let's put you in here. Where, where are you? Who else has taken a few wounds? Let's have a look up here on the vitals. Almost everyone's taken a few wounds. Uh, Tyrion Jajarud. Uh, you're a man who needs to get down there. Okay, okay, everything should be working out. I've put in a little bit of power here just to make sure it all works good. Mainly so I can get Tarig, whatever his name is, to get in there and do some nice chilling out. I'm going to go through and put these all on nine so they're a higher priority than any of the other jobs that people want to go around and do. The same with these massage tables. Definitely ones to come in on the high priority there. Yes, indeed. This hasn't been put away. Why? Okay, that's the farm upgrade complete, or at least it will be when people come along and do some work. I've also noticed that these guys aren't getting uh, their jobs, their, their coal put in. I should imagine that's just a priority problem. We do have quite a few jobs on the go at the moment, and most of them are being told to go on a higher priority. Normally I like to only put them in on a 7 or something like that though, so that the jobs get done and then... So the dig jobs or the build jobs get done and then people can move on with their normal jobs. Doesn't look like it's quite working out like that. Ah, look, he's jumped straight into it. Brilliant. That's exactly what I want. And once we've got all this area cleaned up, we should be able to start thinking about who else we're going to bring in. Now, obviously, I want more Imperial officers here. So I think I'm going to turn to the Death Star conference room. Might, might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who we've got to come in with. Everybody I keep looking up, I've already got. So that that's a, a little bit of an 
disappointment there. And indeed, I'm looking. I'm looking through stuff now. Uh, Captain Salki is an excellent pilot with Piet during the Emperor's arrival. Let, let's go with him. I, I don't have a first name, but we will definitely run with it. Quick learner, narcoleptic. Don't want the narcoleptics. Don't want the uh, biohazard. German resistant pacifist. Sounds like my man. Travaldo? No, you are not Travaldo. We're gonna call you Sarkil. Sarkil. Um, a TIE Fighter pilot, I believe. Seriously, why won't... I know K is the... Oh, come on. K is the sweep key, so it won't let me put a K in. So I'll kill. There we go. Ah! <laughs> All right, finally. Got his name in there. This this quick key business. I've really got to have a word with Clyde. Because, you know, I, I'm in constant contact with developers of this game. That, that's definitely how it works. It's not how it works. Uh, let's go around and make a few of these... Furniture's a bit of a higher priority here. I noticed that none of them are actually really getting worked on here. All the statues have around, but not so much the paintings. That's, that's a bit weird. That's a bit weird. So I've been threatening it for some time now. I think now is the... That, that's not power. I think now is the time to start collecting up some uh, chlorine. Let's uh, rever uh, reverse this... Orientation. Orientation is the word I'm looking for. I swear, like the, the longer I go on for recording these things, the worse my recall on words becomes. I'm just like, what am I trying to say here? Uh, so we're going to come along. Let's just go straight up there. If, if we can, let's just do it. I also want to then go some tiles and some tiles like that. That should work out for me. Uh, let's get a bit more power wire coming across this way because I have prepared a little thing right here. Look, there's a little, little ladder and we'll go down and over here, we've got a gas pump uh, so that should work out a okay over this way I also would like a little bit more tile work here not that bothered I would just like it to be so we can walk across stuff and not worry about like putting wires down and destroying the area this stuff's still not been done over here I don't think we're gonna get the base cooling done today guys I just don't think it's gonna happen with the situation that's going down uh, so we got a new guy you're not you're not who I want up here look let's, let's have a look we want Pierre up here we want Krennic and we want Tarkin. Right, you guys go elsewhere. Right. Go, 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 go. Tar Tarkin's just like, whatever, I'm sleeping. Don't, don't try and tell me what to do. I mean, that that's how you know who's really in charge. They're like, your orders? I don't listen to them. But that's how it works, right? That's how it works. Noticing a lack of oxygen in the oldie living space down here. Yeah, look at that. Carbon dioxide is a real. And this terrarium just cannot deal with it. Might crack a little bit of a hole in the floor then. Let's just do that nine down there. Uh, let's do, yeah, do that. See what happens. I think I would also like to have a bit of a, an airflow going this way. But let's, let's see. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll live with it. I'll live with it. I can definitely... Maybe put a little bit of an airflow like this, but then it won't get past the polluted water. Speaking of, why does this not think it's got access to the polluted water that's underneath it? I mean, look at that. There's, there's definitely germs there. There's just not having it. It's just not having it. Unlike this one, who's still pumping strong. Love it. Love it. Uh, let's also do a few more things over here. Quick tile across that way. That should work out. I also want to do another tile across here. And just to make sure it all gets done today, I'm going to go with P7. Let's make sure this all gets done today. Yeah, indeed. Like, so down. I, I want the chlorine. And the reason I want the chlorine is for my ore scrubber. That That's what we're working on here. So if I come up over here, you can see this ore scrubber. I believe it really does need chlorine to work so I'm gonna end up pumping a whole chlorine line across somehow somehow we've got to avoid all this perhaps coming up over and through this way is the way in fact that's yeah that's very very little movement around so let's try and do that let's get a gas pipe coming down across down all the way over this way down the main shaft back Hmm, now this could get awkward because I intend to have a steam conden condenser up here. So I don't know whether that's going to work quite the way I want, but we'll, we'll run with it for now. If I need to move... Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. If I need to go back on it and change something else, I can definitely do that. Down here like that, and then finally, last little bit. Okay, there we go. Digging, digging's done. Digging's done. Well, the digging's not done. The digging still needs to be done, but the, the root laying definitely done here. If I come along with a nine, is this going to mess a whole load of stuff up? Probably, probably, but I'm not that bothered. You ever get the feeling you've built something in the wrong place? So this is so far down. 
that it's getting uh, serious pressure issues. I can't build up any hydrogen because this electrolyzer just doesn't have the pressure of space, the, like the headroom. As you can see, there's nearly three kilograms of oxygen in there already. So what I've done is I've opened the door. Yeah, that sounds, sounds like a great idea. We're going to open the main door and try and allow a few of these major corridors to be just a little bit more gas permeable. Let's try that. This one will be the place where the majority of it actually flows from, but that, that should work out. We've also got more coming from there. Can't believe how slowly it's diffusing from over this way. The problem, of course, is just our lack of algae. Um, that, that's why the rooms, the, the, the base is not being like fully flooded right now. Uh, that is a problem with this area. Let's, uh, let's eight it. Eight, eight seems like a good idea. That should still keep this chugging over, but a few people should go up and get some algae so we can have just a little bit, a little bit more oxygen in the base. Because oxygen in the base is a good idea, yo. It's a good idea. I don't like where this ladder is. Let's get rid of that ladder and then come down underneath here like that. Nice high priority just so people know what they're doing. Food shortage. Be a few food shortage. We got we got all the uh, because of the lack of bris, bris, bristle blossoms. Bristle blossoms. I speak. I speak well. Uh, like that. Let's try that. This is another thing that annoys me. Uh, uh, I kind of wish that hydrogen would get out of there. Uh, we want to we want to try and push this temperature up enough to be able to kill some germs. I don't know whether that's uh, interfering or not. I don't know whether the hydrogen is picking up more more temperature or not yeah the change rate is actually going up oh man how how much higher do we have to go before we start killing germs probably quite high ah oh, it's a little bit of a shame that we've destroyed this swirl that's going on but progress progress needs to be done we need to get through and get extra stuff working why are people where, where are you all going let's let's get some work done around here guys if you, you could just get some power running pa power running would be the most ideal way of this going down from here. Uh, taking out the abyssal, I, I kind of understand why it's going to take so long. I, I, I can, I can sort of feel, feel your plight there, but we'll, we'll live with it. Is that a reachable build? Is someone going to come along and yeah, do a thing there? Okay, that, that's pretty cool. This, this last bit of power is one of the things that really needs to get done. Tile wire. It's on a nine, so we just got to wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the thing's got done there. Now comes for the actual hard bit as people dig their way down. Oh look. Algae, right here. I'll, I will take all of that, thanks. I will take all of that. In fact, I will take that on a higher priority than almost everything else around, if at all possible. I say almost everything else. I wonder how many nines we got going on around now. Now, that's important to be a nine. This is not so much, but I do need to come along and fix it. Uh, let's go there and there. That should allow my people to fix these things. Uh, at the same time, let's dig that little bit out there, and that should also allow my people to come along and fix those things. Fingers crushed fingers crushed uh we've got the refrigerators out of power but that's just going to take a little bit of time maybe we can take another transformer off of this lot maybe get rid of this guy or maybe like bulk this lot out to have another transformer on it uh, i can see me having yet another one over here at some point why aren't they digging this way p what are we on seven let, let, let's go through there let's see if they'll do that after they've got all this chlorine in place or the chlorine extraction unit in place that's what we want so what have we got going on here? Sarkil going around doing a load of work says he cannot reach his bed, but I'm fairly sure one of these should be his bed. Let's find out where he's been uh, assigned. There we go. Mess table. He's not been assigned a bed. Hmm. Here, have this bed. I, 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 I'm fine. You can, you can go sleep now. You can go sleep now. I, I, whilst I appreciate your devotion to the cause and the want to do better, if you're not well rested, we're not going to be able to... What? I think I think there's problems. I think there's problems. But yeah, if he's not well rested, then he's not going to be able to work well for the group. And if he's not working well for the group, well then he's not part of society. And what are we going to do about that? Uh, you guys really need to get on with this bit here. Uh, that that super super important. Super important. This is all flowing out. We've gone from uh, 25 kilos. Was it 25 kilos? Uh, I don't know. But however many kilos we had, it's now all spewing out into this area, which is, is not really what I want. If I'm to be honest with you, I would like this to all be like self-contained and kept within. And then when it pumps out, then, then things can be moved around. But only then. But only then. 
So I'm going to try replacing this air tile back with the insulated tile and see if we can get this hydrogen moving around. If we can get it into one of the other corners, that'd be great. Into any corner. Any corner at all. This one, this one, this one, this one. I don't mind. I will be able to then pop it out through the side, hopefully. People coming along and doing a lot of... A lot of deliveries. Here we go. Tyrion finally actually doing the work that we want done here. Let's have a look. Bam. Okay, that I mean, kind of worked, but kind of didn't. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens with the hydrogen. And down here, what is going on? People are doing good work, so I've just noticed they're not really going to be able to uh, climb over this. The bleach stone is a little, little bit of a problem. Actually, they should be able to start climbing over that. I'll tell you what, just to be sure, just to be sure, we'll put a ladder up there and a ladder down there, and that should make everybody okay there. Hopefully, I think. But yeah, yeah, look at that. Every everybody's super okay and super buildable. That's good. Can people not drop down there? No, because there's nowhere to drop to. Okay, I see what's going on there. I see what's going on. Can we turn those up to a nine? We'll see what goes down. Oh, there are people there. There are multiple peoples there. I, I thought there was only one, but that's, that's cool. That's cool. All right, bye, guys. Have some fun. Um, go go do your thing. Come on, come on, chlorine pump. I need a chlorine pump. Okay, we have a fully contained pumping system. Right now, we have a bunch of gas going out, but we're out of power, of course. Why not? Why, why are we out of power? All right, someone will get to that at some point. But all the chlorine should now make its way along this a pipe. Do we want to speed it up a little bit? Let's see if we can speed it up. Uh, there, there's no point. It's not, it's not going that fast. And come over to this ore scrubber, which should allow us to start digging out in this direction and cleaning up some of this slime. The slime is the big problem here. We all know this. We all know this. Uh, does this actually need any power or anything? It doesn't look like it needs any power at all. All scrubbers sanitize freshly mined resources before bringing them into the colony. That's great. I mean, like, is there anything other than slime full of contamination? I don't know. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do, just... Just for something to do, is we're going to dig this out. Dig this gold amalgam out. And then maybe make a little bit of a... A trap down here. So Something nice and deep that will catch any nasty noise and we'll see what happens sedimentary rock okay that's a thing um yeah should all work out a-okay from here oh, all right fine everybody's going to bed again oh finally people are coming across to work over this is, this is the very side of the map oh my gosh only one wheezwort in here that's um it's a little disappointing i've got to be honest with you a little disappointing this guy's so slow that all the stuff has died so slow so cold that all the stuff has died that's that's very interesting are these guys getting polluted from this no zero germs that's that's fine it's just not very nice it's just not very nice trying to crack our way through the abyss light it's a shame that this is such a small cold biome. Uh, so does this just naturally sit at a cold temperature? If I was to pump heat in here, would it would it take the heat away? I'm not sure how the biome works, if I'm to be honest with you. I am not sure how the biome works. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure where we have built ourselves a chlorine pump, got ourselves some nice little tidiness, expanded out our sleeping arrangements, got ourselves a new sort of working oxygen system totally put it in the wrong place there's too much pressure down here we need to try and build another one up here at some point just like this one you can see how this is just like constantly pumping out oxygen that would be starved to death starved to Ooh, oh well what an ending for a show with that i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining for this adventure i'll see you next time where we're gonna figure out why people are starving Everybody should have been fine. We definitely shouldn't have had two people starving. We had food excess going on. But I will see you then. Oh, and we're going to do that. Bye.